one goal in seven in the league. And I know that, I know I've been castigated by a few people this morning for having a go at how few fans. I mean, I had more people at my last birthday party than they bothered uh, to bring down to White Hart Lane. So. 250 so. dance away fans for an FA Cup tie. Forget where it is. Forget what time of, what time of the week it is. I think that is a disgrace uh, to the competition. When was the last time you paid for a <laughs> ticket at football? Was it? What has that got anything to do? Answer the question. No, it's got absolutely nothing well, to do with uh, it. Uh, well, because what were the prices? What were the prices? You're a hypocrite, Moose. When was the no, last time I'm you not, paid for a ticket? No, Answer the question. I'm saying to you. When was the last time you? Adrian Ab Abrahams paid for a ticket for a football game. I don't think it's relevant. Anyway. Well, I'm asking the right, question. Last week. Rubbish, you're a liar. Yeah, I'm not, you're I'm an absolute liar. You've never paid for a ticket for the last 15 week, years. Last month or last don't year. Don't have a go at Bolton fans. I'm not going to have a Bolton for a fans. ticket because you have never paid well, for a ticket. It just shows that Burnley the fans. Last 15 years. It just shows that Burnley Football Club is bigger you're a than a hypocrite, Bolton. Man. And Blackburn too, because I've been at games this season where Burnley Bolton and fans won't be ripped off like Ian Sane, like Dancy Sane. They won't be ripped off. Quick call if you don't mind, Moose. Sid is a Spurs fan, wants to talk about the Bolton. Uh, away support at the lane last night. Morning, Sid. Morning, Sid. Morning, boys. How you doing? You alright? <laughs> alright, yeah, thanks, good. Sid. You were at the game last night, weren't you? Yeah, I was at the game last night, and I think it was disgrace to the Bolton fans bringing 250 supporters down. But the other thing is, as well, Bolton didn't put out a strong side, and that's, dis that's, that's disgusting as well. Yeah. And uh, I totally agree with Moose about that Ronnie O'Reilly saying to me that he don't pay for tickets. Ronnie O'Reilly don't pay for a ticket either. Mate, I've had two season totally tickets totally at Man United wrong. for 31 years that I've paid for. What are you talking about, Sid, mate? You're dreaming. No, I'm not dreaming. How can you say that to you? You put everyone else down, and you're and, 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 and you're and you're Alan Brazil's finger puppet every time. What do you mean by that, Sid? What do you mean by that, Sid? Right, you, 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 what, what are you talking about? You, you, you what are you talking about, Sid? You, you're losing it, mate. You're losing no, it. I bought. I've all two seasons. Let's yeah, stick to the on. point. Hey, Sid, let's stick to the point and let's talk about Bolton what? fans. Who's a muppet, yeah, eh? It's terrible. They brought 250 supporters down, and, and, they have, uh, and they haven't even put out a strong side ball, and it, it's not fair on the fans well, either. Well, I wonder whether the Bolton fans knew that there was going to be a weakened side, but no. I, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't press. checked they to see whether Owen Quill sits. He did say, he did say. Well, the well the th there you go. There's one mitigating it circumstance be straight away. If be Owen Quill has said in his build-up that he's only going to be taking his shadow squad okay. down to the lane, then Bolton fans have, so, let's be fair, an excuse for not turning up. So does he, and do they get get done like Wolves did last week for fielding a weekend side. Well, what did they get? A suspended £25,000 yeah, £25, fine? Isn't it? Well, uh, uh, listen, it's the FA Cup, it's a different competition, it's it different rules anyway. and different governments, because the FA Premier League got involved in that, it's the I FA Cup. Just want to run through three quick... Uh, wait, hey, what, uh, Sid gone? Are you there still yeah, Sid, Sid's gone. Yeah, but Sid's Royal, gone. Royal Rumpus, Sewers like. Taint and the Reading Triumph, I know not... Uh, Alex is a City fan. Alex, how's your head? Morning, Alex. Morning, morning, morning. Hey, uh, yeah. I'm just, I've just about landed at work. I've just pulled over to speak to you. Yeah, I was there yesterday. Um, we thought the typical City tag had come back to haunt us, but at the end of the day, we wouldn't have had it any other way. I just wanted to say, Mr. Ivani, you must be pretty unhappy this morning, seeing as though your original team went, got relegated. But I don't want to. I don't want to gloat about that and the fact that my original United team. Um, you need to explain yourself, mate, because my dad's been a Man United season ticket holder for 58 years. So go on. What do you, what Ronnie, do you mean? Ronnie, you blocked a load of my fellow Blues on Twitter the other night. You were asking you why you never go to United, and you started saying, "Oh, I don't get tickets." Yet you cheer. Alex, on, Alex, don't finish. bring Twitter into it. When you get abuse like Ronnie, I Ronnie, do, four Ronnie, letter, Ronnie, Alex. Ronnie, we wait to Stop three being bitter. Morning. Celebrate the Ronnie, victory. Champions, you were chanting it at Blackburn, now you've got to take it. Take it like we've had to take it for the last 20 years. It's calm of this. You've got a banner up at Old Trafford saying, not arrogant, just better. Flip it around. You're an arrogant bunch of supporters. And we're better now. Why can't you just celebrate, time. Alex? Why are some of us not about revenge? We're celebrating. We're celebrating. <laughs> you're, you're talking about us. What did Ferguson say? <laughs> he called us neighbours. He didn't even have the honour to say Manchester City. Don't give us a weird arrogant. We are Get celebrating. Why don't you just enjoy it? It's so, Ronnie, you got it. Take it. Every Man City fan that I know who blogs has been saying you are the number one anti City fan. And that Matt Digger, who you had on last week, you were bleeding. You were glowing Matt about Smith. the guy. Matt Smith is called Alex. You're, you're, you're number one. And, uh, well, the abuse I get. So, Alex, let's just go to one thing right. If you saw some of the abuse yesterday, I think. Uh, Cammy really? reported somebody yesterday. He had some s but, terrible, uh, who did? nasty abuse yesterday. Cammy. Is Twitter all, it, is it worth it all? Um, is it worth when you're all looking at hassle, tubes like that block there, mm. and some of the serious, like, four-letter rants and everything that you get on Twitter, I just block them. 
they get one chance on our I just block them out and I love blocking them. Like likes of Alex, he's probably got blocked about six months ago. Because when you get nasty abuse, swearing and, and some horrible stuff, mm. I don't take it. If I want banter's great and there's a couple of city fans that come onto my Twitter site and I have good banter with them, there's no problem whatsoever. But likes of Alex, I'm not interested in him what he gets up to. Good luck, he's a city fan. Well done, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ronald Charles Irani, cricket legend, performance coach and guru to the biggest stars of bat and ball. See that Alistair Cook? I taught him everything he knows. It was me that brought him into the Essex side. Without me, he'd be nothing. And you can read all about it in my excellent book, still available from the Talk Sport shop. Mario, 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 Mario. <laughs> He's, uh, he just said, can't trust him. Cannot trust him. So there you go, what the City fans think. Anyone out there who maybe has a bit of sympathy, sympathy for Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario, Mario, uh, Mike Mario. was at the game. Mike, uh, how are you, Mike? Good morning. Morning, morning Mikey. I'm, I'm fine, boys. I'm just uh, chuckling to myself about how you lot would have nothing to say if it wasn't for Mario. Now, let's just put this in perspective. I'm not condoning what he did, but I can understand why he did it. Kolarov winds the fans up by wanting to take every free kick even on the left-hand side. And anybody knows about football, that'll be you, Alan, um, will know that a left-footed player should take them on the right-hand side and a right-footed player normally takes them on the left-hand side. Just a bit of blue. Mario showed you what he could do with his right foot when he bent a furler right into the top corner. Yeah. And what he was trying to do was saying, give me the free kick. Now, the way he went about it, I don't condone, but, you know, the danger isn't Mario when he's like that. The death is Mario when he doesn't get involved in the game. Now, if he's going to play kick up like that and score me two goals, then play kick up every week for me. Yeah, you know, Mike, 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 I just feel, Mike, I feel he's, he's, he's I just feel he's unsettled your squad, Mike. Excuses, Mike. Are you, Mike. Mike, man for man, Excuses. City, at this moment in time, I think squad, man for man, are better than United. So you've got to ask, why, Ronnie's shaking his head, but <laughs> I do, I do, I think they're like better. Who? I do, right? Um, and I just feel that um, City have the best squad, they should have won it, and you have to ask why they're not going to win it, because United are going to win it. No, we should have, but that's not Mario's fault. You can't put all that on him. I mean, there's, there's times that I would like to slap the guy, believe me, and that's the times he goes missing or does nothing in the game or falls over and sits down wanting to get a free kick when it wasn't a free kick. But there are other times where he shows absolute brilliance and he's fantastic. And your, your man from your, your reporter before the Liverpool fan, it was only a penalty. How many penalties have been missed this season? You know, the, the guy is on his day. He's yeah, a good but, player, but, but, but he's mate, 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 look, we've heard from Mourinho, and now mm. if Mancini was telling the truth, the, the truth will be if there's a bid on the table and he sells them. No. Simple as Mike, that. Mike, keep the faith Simple with him. That. You're doing a great job. Keep Mario. I think that's fantastic. Keep it going, Mikey. Especially if Benfica get one first. Right, let me go up to Northwich, Cheshire. Uh, Colin is, of course, our resident Selick and Liverpool supporter. Colin, morning. Morning, Al. Morning, Ronnie. Morning, Colin. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie I, I don't know where you're coming from in this, mate. Players have never had it so good and easy. Um, I need to take you back to the vintage year of 67, Alan. Maybe you'll recall this. A Go team on. from Glasgow, um, they faced all the competitions and took all the, the, the competitions on board and won everything. Alan, how many games would they have played that season? Ooh, and what would over 70 probably. Mm, Colin, I understand yeah, your point, but, but you're such a dinosaur, you really are. So you're telling me these players have never been in any, any better shape. John Terry has never been in any better shape. Of course he's been in better shape, Colin. No, nah, no. Nah. Ronnie, Ronnie. He's just recovering from knee coming, surgery, please. Colin. Well, don't play him then, Ronnie. You That's what I'm saying, you're resting for the big game against Barcelona if they get through. No. No, you would rest them, Ronnie. We wouldn't, and, and, and John Terry wouldn't rest up anyway. Look, Ronnie, your argument's feeble. The, the guys have never had it so good. The, the, the recovery so you're a dinosaur, the Colin. You're a dinosaur. Uh, you really are. Yeah, well, Ronnie, listen. Fergie right, would rest Rio Ferdinand on the Sunday for the big Champions League game. All, all vice, the type, you know, the type of player who's coming towards the end of his career who physically can't do it in two days because he needs him for the big one in the Champions League. R Ronnie, Ronnie, yeah. You're, you're fighting against yourself, mate. John Terry will tell the manager himself he's fit enough to play the two games. Ronnie, I might be a, a dinosaur, but you're clueless, mate, honestly. All right, you're let's get personal, Colin. Well done. Goodbye. Bye. 
What's uh, a clone? Let me... <laughs> <laughs> What's a clone? Let anyway, me... Move on. Uh, uh, 